was the fix in for the lottery? No. Shame on you for asking. I think it's my job to ask. Have you stopped beating your wife yet? Yeah, I don't know if that's fair. Really quick, before I begin, if you guys can smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, this seriously makes a huge difference to my videos and lets YouTube know to recommend this video to a brand new audience. So thank you so much for doing that, and let's begin. You know, New Orleans won the draft lottery, which of course produced the usual round of speculation that maybe the lottery was fixed. I know that you appreciate a good conspiracy theory as much as the next guy. Was the fix in for the lottery? Uh, you know... I have two answers for that. I'll, I'll give you the easy one. No, and a statement. Shame on you for asking. You know, I, I understand why you would say that to me, and I want to preface it by saying it respectfully. I think it's my job to ask because I think people wonder. No, it's ridiculous, but that's okay. I, I know, I I know that you think it's ridiculous, but I don't think the question is ridiculous because I know people think that. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that I do, but I think it's my job to ask you that. I, have you stopped beating your wife yet? Yeah, I don't know if that's fair. I don't know if that's fair. Why is that? Because I think that there are, and I, and I know you read your emails, and I'm sure you follow things virally and on Twitter. People really do think it, whether it's fair or not. Well, they think it because people you don't. Like you don't think you, the question's fair to ask if, if your fans think it? Silly questions. I expect it to be written about, and you know, I actually I, I commented last night at my presser that there was one guy who I won't. Signify by naming says I have no reason to know anything and I don't know anything but I tell you I believe it's fixed okay that's good why is that well because this team won it and if that team won it it would have been fixed also and if that team won it it would have been fixed also and if and if uh, every team was invited to have a representative there and if there were four members of the media there and if Ernst and Young certified it you still think yes so uh, I guess I, I think two things. Uh, let me. Uh, which response to this? I think two things. Number one, I don't think so. I don't think so, and I'm not covering myself. I don't think so, but I think by asking the question, it would not suggest that I think so. But the one thing I would say, the league does own the team, does it not? Yes. Does that not make the question fair? I don't think so. Number one, we sold it. We're going to close this week. We already have established our price. I think that if we had, if it had gone to... Michael Jordan, and the, which was the next team up with in terms of a high percentage, there was an oh, David, take care of his friend Michael. And if it had gone to Brooklyn, which is going into Barclays Center, it would have been fair to speculate, I suppose, that you know we want to take Brooklyn off of the mat. So there was no winning, uh, and people write about it, uh, and it's okay to write about it, and we sort of expect it, but you know that's not a that's a that's not a question that I've uh, been asked before by a respectable journalist. I, I think I understand why you're frustrated by that. I think that I understand why that would upset you. I would hope that you would not hold that against me. I wouldn't hold it against you. I've, I've, you know, you and I have been into more contentious discussions than that. I don't know. I'd put that one right up there. Well, you know, it's, it's good copy, and you do things sometimes for cheap thrills. I, didn't, I did not do that for a cheap thrill. That's not what that was. Well, it sounded like it. No, not at all. Not, see, that's my point. That's where you and I, that's our well, point of disconnect. It, that was not a cheap thrill, and I was not throwing anything against the wall, and I was trying to be as respectful as possible. I'm just saying that people wonder about that. And I don't want to ask a question by, here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to say, hey, Commissioner, people would say, because I'm going to ask a direct question, but people did wonder. But that was not a cheap thrill. Well, was, I got no thrill out of that. It's a cheap trick. No Flopping is a cheap trick. No, no. But listen, you've been successful in making a career out of it, and I keep coming on. Making so a career of what, though? Commissioner, see, that, that, I take great offense to that. Making a career of what? What offense? Cheap are thrills? You Are you taking offense? I am now. I now said. I am. If you're saying now that I've made a career your, of making cheap thrills. Time, you know, uh, taking on the world, and now Jim Rome is pouting? I love it. No, I'm not pouting. It's I take great. offense. Uh, there's a difference between pouting and taking offense. I take offense to that like you took offense to the question. What if I said, okay, were you pouting when I, I asked the question? You know, offenses. You want to hang up on me? No, I, well, no, I can't okay. hang up on you because I'm running out of time. I would never hang up on you. Okay. Listen, I got to go call somebody important like Stephen A. Smith now. He's up next. All right. You go make that call, and I'll go talk to somebody else, too, I guess, myself. All right.
All right, Commissioner, have a nice day. I did not hang up on him. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. That was Jim Rome, well-known radio host and former ESPN personality, interviewing on his radio show, former NBA Commissioner, David Stern. Things turned from awkward to ugly pretty quickly. When Rome asked a question about the public perception that the NBA had rigged the 2012 NBA draft lottery, the Anthony Davis sweepstakes, to ensure the New Orleans Hornets came away with the first selection despite having fewer chances at the top prize than the Charlotte Bobcats, the Washington Wizards and the Cleveland Cavaliers heading into the lottery. Rome thought it was his right to ask the question because the NBA owned the Hornets at the time of the lottery before selling to the New Orleans Saints owner, Tom Benson, for a reported $338 million. Have you stopped beating your wife yet? Stern's remark, the textbook example of a loaded question intended to suggest that the subject has been asked a question he cannot answer without incriminating himself. Even though there's been no reports of Jim Rome laying a hand on his wife or anybody. Jim Rome has a reputation of ruffling some feathers during interviews. This YouTube Jim Rome ESPN and you'll find some doozies. But the long-term former NBA commissioner was always known for not taking a backward step in these type of circumstances. And his comments put Rome on the back foot. All right, guys, that will wrap it up for today's video. If you can hit the like button, that really helps my channel out. Um, if you like this type of content, please subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Cheers.